Alright boys, what is up? It's your boy K Natsuki here back at again with another new Spanking Hot What If video and I'm sorry, no intro to a day for this vid because I know y'all are pumped about it. I know I left y'all on a cliffhanger in part four in part four of of this epic series I know y'all are enjoying the hell out of. I'm seriously I get literally spammed to death for it threats if to do part five or else people are gonna actually use try and use my YouTube account to track me down and snipe me so um yeah let us begin <laughs> as where we last left off Narutami Sasura Akari and Hima would have defeated the last of the nine-tailed beasts, and Obito would become the ten-tailed Jinjerki. However, Zetsu would basically punch him right through the chest, and he would die. As Kaguya would appear, and basically, Kaguya would then be resurrected or freed as she would then as suddenly the moon would begin to would basically look like a infant Tsukuyomi. However chains would appear out of the infinite Tsukuyomi out of the dot in the middle and the four tomoe in the middle as they would grab the our four protagonists and our f four main characters into the into the m moon as right before they would uh, they could h even hit the surface of the moon a portal would open up and would bring them to well you're about to find out because that's where i ended off last time as they would look around as they would see they're in a garden. However, it is, and they would see they are in a garden that's surrounded by marble sculptures, sculptures of foxes and kitsune, and bunnies, bunnies and rabbits. As we see. The four basically looking around, absolutely confused, as suddenly their eyes begin, all four, even Akari's eyes begin glowing, as suddenly their eyes begin, are basically, they look like Uzumaki symbols, circles with swirls in them. As for so for Hima, her eyes would become purple, but with black and but with white swirls in them, just swirling around. As for Sasura, her her eyes would become red with white or with black circles or her, with black circles swirling around with. Akari, it would be cyan, it would be light blue, it would be sky blue with circles swirling around and with swirls as with Narutami, it would be orange, I mean, it would be ye yellow with swirls as the four would be basically hypnotized as they would, as the four, as you might be wondering, wait, why I and how are they tip hypnotized? Well, they would be hypnotized by Kaguya's beauty, as she would be in front of all four, and as she would be in front of all four, as she would then say, you may rise, as the four would unconsciously stand up, as she would and snap her fingers as her eyes would go back to normal. As she would then say, 
Welcome. I am Kaguya Atsushiki. You may call him War. I am also known as the Rabbit Goddess. Or the Bunny Goddess. Princess Kaguya. The God of the Goddess of the God of the Moon. The God of all Chakra. The Mother of Chakra. Or, 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 as some would call me, e from where I am from, Kaguya the Merciless. As she would then say, welcome to my little dimension I've been work, I had one of my creations work on. This is a place where dreams are reality, and reality is dreams. Here you can do almost anything you want. You can man you can manifest your thoughts into reality. You can warp the very fabric of all around you here. And, of course, or you can do, well, basically anything in this realm as long as your will is strong enough. As since I, I am the, basically, god of this realm, I rule it meaning I'm the strongest here. As she would then say, however, I am not here for, I did not bring you here for bragging or to fight. In fact, I brought all of you here just so we could do, just so I could meet you all in person. And I must say, this is <laughs> so amazing, just perfect. All four of you here, looking beautiful and gorgeous as always. After all, I have had my eyes on all three of you for quite a while. And now I can hardly handle my, and now I can't handle myself. As she would, as Kaguya would then dash over towards them, and dash over towards Naratami, as, well, I don't want to get any strikes, so I'm going to have to keep it PG. She would basically grab her boob, boob and scoop. She basically would rush over to her, grab and squeeze her boob, as Naratami would just moan and bite her lower lip. As Kaguya would then say, "My, my, my! How impatient!" But very well. Then you may come with me, as Kaguya would then, and show them to a giant palace that, that she had created in this realm, as she would say, this will be our home, and hopefully you girls will want to stay, as she would say, everything here I've made just to fit all of your like, just to fit your liking. And of course, if you all want, we may go, and of course, if you all want, we may from time to time go back to the earth. As, well, 
Narutami would, I guess she would then say, now, I think it's time, time for a long-awaited reward, as she would then, as she would then give a sly and malicious grin, as she would then open her palm, um, as suddenly out of her hand, a Pur a light purple chain would appear as it would and a light blue basically I cannot even remember the color of her hair but basically a chain that is the same exact color as her hair as it's basically a chakra chain that's the same color as her hair would appear in her palm as it would then wrap around well, Narutami's waist, as she, as she would then basically say, and away we go. As she would then yank the chain, as Narutami would begin spinning and spinning and spinning, as Kaguya would, would basically grab Narutami, as the two would then be spinning all the way into a room. All the way into a bedroom. As they then spin in the bedroom, as the chain then yanks at the doorknob and closes it. Now, because I do not want any strike, strikes, or any people who are watching this, you know, getting me in trouble or reporting me, I'm just gonna have to keep it PG. So, sorry, no 18 plus here. I know y'all mad. Y'all want me to do an 18 plus scene. Okay. I promise. As soon as I can, which might be in a while, which might be a while, I will make 18 plus scenes. By the way, I've been wanting to ask something. I wanted to tell you guys something. When I reach... 2,500 subscribers, I, I will actually, because this recording app I'm using actually does have a um, video and does have a face cam feature, when and I reach 2,500 subscribers, I will show my, I will do a face reveal, okay? But back to the what if. As the door would slam, as the entire room would begin to shake as the entire basically the door would begin to shake as suddenly the entire palace would shake as the door would then open no, as we skip three hours later the door would open and yank Akari in and the door to open as the chain would appear and yank Akari in as everything would begin shaking again and then it would stop two hours later as the door would open again as the chain would appear one for a third time and would yank Hima in as an hour and a half later the door would everything would stop shaking as the door would open for a final time and would yank Sasora in. I'm Sasora in. As we skip one hour later, as the entire place has stopped shaking, and then suddenly the entire realm began shaking again. As we hear screaming and moaning from even a hundred miles away from the palace. Yeah. Loud. And. Well. We skip to the next day. As Kaguya would then say. Oh pets. It's time for you. Oh my pets. It's time. I'm for breakfast. 
as they would then op as they would then appear and as they would then basically run out of the room with only bikinis on and panties on and these are very slim and skinny bikinis and panties okay as Gagia would then begin rubbing on on Narutami's and Akari's butts and she would then begin spanking them as the two would then bite their lower lip and we begin moaning as she would then say <laughs> Good to see you still you'll love me little my little pets as she would then say now it is time. Now it is time. As she would then basically go to a cupboard with four bowls. As these four bowls would have a strange liquid in it. I'm not going to explain, tell you what this liquid is, but you probably will know. Due to the hints that have been given out in the last couple of minutes. As Kaguya would give them the four bowls, as she would then say, Here, drink up. As the four would be on all fours, and would be drinking the, the contents, and would be drinking the liquid from the bowl until there was not even a single drop left as the four would then smile and would then close her eyes and smile as they would then rush over to kaguya as they would then say what would you like now me what do you want to do now mistress kaguya and she would then say hmm how about, how about, just something simple. We simply will play a game. As they would then say, a game? As she would then say, yes. After all, it'll be, be a fun game. A little, you could say, endurance game. As she would then say, whoever can last in the, whoever can last, last three hours and thir four hours with me in one room without fainting and or moaning wins. Or at least, and the person who wins or at least gets lasts the longest, gets to cuddle with me naked tonight, and without their clothes on tonight, as the four, as they would then say, hey, yes, Mistress Kaguya, as first would enter Akari, as she would be, as she would faint, and, and as she would then scream, and I should then moan and faint in two hours. Sasora, I'm Sasora, moan and faint in three hours. And Hima, three hours and thirty minutes. As Narutami, on the other hand, would get four hours and thirty minutes. As Kaguya would then and say, All right, my pets, it's time to wake up. Narutami has won the little game, so therefore she will be able to sleep with me and sleep with me without her clothes on, on tonight. 
as the other three would then pout, pout and frown with their arms crossed as Narutami would then and, and jump up in excitement as Kaguya would then say, Now, Narutami, it is time to rest. As the two would basically enter the room and wrap around each other. Other as they would cuddle and fall asleep. As we skip to the next day, and as we skip about 10 months later, as things would have been quite the same for those in, I mean, quite the same as the first day for the entire, entire 10 months. As Kaguya would just smile as she would then say, Oh, pets. As suddenly, Four little girls and four little female kitsune would walk up in front of her in all sorts of in these adorable little dresses is that were very, very exposing. As they would then say, yes, Mistress Kaguya, as she would then say, hmm. get your kimonos back on. I know. Your kimonos are in the, yeah, your kimonos are in the attic. Get your kimonos back on along with your masks and clothing. Prepare yourself, elf, and fix up your hair. After all, we're going, after all, we are going down to earth. It appears that some humans have, and it appears that my traitorous sons have reincarnated, and reincarnated a couple of years before, sensing exactly what would, what a car re would do. So, either A, we make their reincarnations just like you two, or B, and just like you four, or B, we have to end them. Now you, t you, the viewers, will choose, will I kitsunify? Yes, that's what I'm calling the transformation. Will I kitsunify the reincarnations of Hagaromo and Hamura? Or should I kill them off? You, the viewers, get to decide. Okay? As... As the... As ever, the four would then moan and groan and say, Yes, Mistress Kaguya. As they would then say, but... Underneath our kimonos, can we, we still have, can we at least have our bikinis and panties on? And she would then say, fine, but try to, but try to look like you, but try to look like you have at least five, ten percent of your brain not turned to mush. And not turned into obedient, and servant, and obedient, Kaguya slave mush. Okay, as they then say, yes, Mistress Kaguya, all in unison. As the four would then open a port, and as she'd then say, hmm, good, good little pets. Now it's time to go. As they would then, as she would then hold up her, her hand as a portal would open. As the four would look in there, like how they do in their normal outfits, with Akari looking like this, 
Narutami looking like that. Sasura looking like that. And Hima looking like this. As the four would basically walk down the um and would basically walk down a long spiral and would basically they would float down from the moon or and they would basically go through the portal and would be on the moon as they would then float down from the moon onto the earth as the reincarnations and as the reincarnations of Hagaromo and Hamura are hmm, Menma Uchiha Uzumaki. Yes, Menma, you heard me right. Menma Uchiha Uzumaki and Itachi. You will choose. Should I keep Sunafi? Memma and Itachi or not? Mm -hmm. As the two would basically be, well, where they always are. As Itachi would then, and would basically then say, and would basically have his, would have two Renegons activated. As Itachi's the one with the two Renegons, because if you did not know, Itachi is Hagaromo's reincarnation as well. He Menma is Hamura's reincarnation. Or wait, tell me who should be whose reincarnation, okay? Should Itachi be Hagaromo's or Hamura's and should Menma be Hagaromo or Hamura's? Okay? Either way. The four, the five would float down to see the two, would to see the two be, to see the two. As Menma would then say, "Who?" As Menma would then say, "Who are you?" As Sasuke would then say, "Hmm." Four of them appear to be legendary Kitsune, and the other, and the fifth, appears to be God appears to be a goddess of sorts. Hmm. As they I would then say, why are you here? As she would then say, well, quite simple, really. After all, you are the two who have stopped my infinite Tsukiyomi. It usually only stops with my permission. However, hmm. It appears that you two have broken the infinite Tsukiyomi. As she would then say, Ah, uh, what does it matter? Humanity perishes and humanity perishes by I slowly being drained into a dream world. Or humanity dies and with power of the god. It doesn't really matter to me. All that matters is that human is that the disgusting stench of humanity he and war is gone for eternity. As she would then say, isn't that right, girls? As the four would then say, Yes, ma yes, Mistress Kaguya. As she would then say, as you can see, you two are humans who have stopped my infinites, who broken my infinite Tsukiyomi, the strongest, one of the strongest genjutsus to possibly ever exist. This angers me, and so for such a insult to me, I will let the girls decide what to do with you. As she would then say, 
and as she would then create two new chains, and as she would then lengthen her hair, as it would then stretch out and wrap around the two, as she would then throw them again against the ground, just strong enough to knock them out. As she would then open a portal and throw them through it. As she would then say, hmm. Girls, I'm a bit bored. May you please entertain me with the destruction of a village? As they would then say, Yes, Mistress Kaguya. As they then say, Mistress, what village do you want to be destroyed? As she would then say, Hmm. How about the stone? Own village. As they then say, Yes, mistress. As the four would fly all the way. As the five would fly up to the... And would basically f zoom over to the stone village. As she would... As Kogia would basically then float up in the sky and would begin to, with her hands behind her back as she would begin watching. As the two, as the four would then think, think the same thing. We must impress Mistress Kaguya. After all, we might get a good reward. As they would then dash at as they I would then dash at the village as Narutami would then, <laughs> well, Narutami would then simply use a ire and would simply just use a rase, ten rasengans as she would as allow me to explain how this is happening you see the all ten of her tails would begin swirling around and would begin swirling in circles at the tips as suddenly the rasengans would then form at all ten tips as she as they then turn into ras and shurikens as she would then throw them at the village as the suchikage Anaki would, would try to use his particle style, but nothing would work. As I'm pretty sure that's what his, um, I cannot remember what it's called, but I think it's called a Kekatoda. <laughs> Is as Anaki would try to, f would also try to use taijutsu against the kitsune as well i mean boy all nine jinjuriki weren't enough to be to best them and all nine jinjuriki were not enough to best them what makes you think that you'll do any better <laughs> as kaguya would be what and as Akari would then say, Infernal Blaze. As she would then create a fireball made out of, and as she would create a ginormous fireball about 10 miles wide, I'd 10 miles, and 10 miles long, 10 miles wide, 10 miles tall, and 10 miles in diameter, and five miles in radius and 360 degrees all around basically a ginormous sphere of 10 miles and with a diameter of 10 miles as you would then and throw it at the village as it would begin burning to the ground As the kitsune would begin chuckling insanely. As, well. Narutami would then, and as 
Sosora, still having a Sharingan, would then set. I'm pretty sure she has eight tails now. Yeah, she would set her eight tails on fire with Amaterasu. As she would, as the, it would not be burning her tails, as she, however, she would basically be thin, she would basically thin the hairs of the tails, so, to the point where the tails themselves were like blades, as she would begin stabbing people one by one with the fiery, and with the Amaterasu blades. As she would then say, foolish. So foolish. As Akari would then, and as we hear Akari's stomach begin to grumble, as she's still fighting against Anaki, as she would then say, "Hmm. Uh oh, my tummy's making the my tummy's making the rumblies." You know what that means? As her eight tails would then would then gra try to grab Anaki, as he would skillfully dodge all eight. As she would then say, "Hey, no fair!" As she would then launch her eight tails again, as Anaki would then dodge again. As this goes on about 30 more times, as she then says, Hmm, well, it's been very fun of, on a distant, well, this game has been very fun, but it's time, but it's time to eat. As the eight tails would then, and stretch, and as two of the eight tails would wrap around Anaki's arms, and one tail would wrap around both of his legs, As Anaki would be, would have been dragged right in front of the, and right to the other, other five tails, as they would then wrap around him and begin to squeeze, as Anaki would then shriek in pain, trying to survive. I, as, well. Yeah, basically he's dying. As a ninja who is just, and as a shinobi who is just walking from the, and who is basically just, you know, walking around. And as he was a enemy of the mist, mist village, basically considered a rogue. As it is the famous Mr. Shark himself. Elf. The wielder of Samehada. Kisame. As Kisame would be walking nearby, as he would, well, try to, as he was going to kill Anaki. And as he was going to cause some mayhem in the stone village. As he would then see, he's Anaki basically being squeezed to death by Tails. Tails, as she, as she would then let out a cute little burp. As suddenly a ninth tail would form, form as she would then say, "Yay! Now I got nine tails. That's one more for Mistress Kaguya." As, well, she, as, Narutami would be just us looking around, as she would also have gotten a bit hungry, as she would see Kasame and rush over to him, as the other three would think the same exact thing, food. As in end in the end, Hima would grab him, him and would begin squeezing. However, 
Kisame still having Samehada, would then do a circular or 360 slash. As suddenly, the th as suddenly, he her her seven. I believe it's yeah. I believe she has seven tails now. As Hima's seven tails would have been would all have been cut. As Hima would then whimper and scream in pain. As Sasura would would then get angry. Angry as she as her eyes would then look like they were like they were reverse Sharingans. Basically, instead of it being Red with a black symbol, imagine it being black with a red symbol. As she would rush over at them in rage. Age and would begin. And would basically begin ending everything. Oh, no. Sorry about that. Not. Yeah, sorry. As she would begin slashing in at. Well, Kisame, as he would be using Samehada along with his water based jutsus to try and defeat Sasura, as she would then grab him by the neck with three of her tails and would begin squeezing his neck, choking him. As the wounded and wincing Hima would then and scream and would then scream, he's mine. I'm going to eat him and then I'm going to gain a, 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 an eighth tail. As Sasura would then say, You're lucky she wants to eat you. With her, she does it quick and painless. However, because we usually do it quick and painless. However, because of what you did, I would have made it as painful as possible. As she would then toss the barely alive. I've Kisame towards Hima, as she would then say, Hmm, you know that it was really not nice of what you did to me, but it'll be alright. After all, soon you'll just be an, be an eighth. As soon, soon after all, some of you will be in my belly, and the other, some of you, will just be made into a nice fluffy tail. No, in fact, I'm thinking of not eating you, but instead just crushing you and using you to create an eighth, an eighth tail, and regenerating my other tails. As suddenly, the half-cut tails would then wrap around him, as she would then say, Now, sorry, but your blood will kind of spill out. After all, I can't exactly tighten all the way. As Zab as Kesame would try to use a jutsu or K or Samehada, as it would have, as Sasura would then say, "Oh no, you don't!" As she would then rip K Kesame's sword Samehada out of his hands, as he'd then say, "No!" As Hima would begin, would basically slowly wrap her tails around. Kisame and we began squeezing. As suddenly, because, and as because she cannot tighten all the way, we could act, you would actually be able to see the bones snapping and the flesh ash burning. As he would begin screaming, screaming as blood would just burst out of the tails and would just burst out. 
a puddle of blood as suddenly nine as suddenly eight tails a eighth tail would appear and the other and the halves of her tails would then regenerate I should then say huh. Man, that guy was mean. As the as the four would then, and as the five would then, and basically float up to the moon. As Kogia would then create a portal. As the five would have basically been teleported back into the palace, as Kaguya would then say, because of what had happened to our dear, 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 sweet, and innocent Hima, tonight only she get, only, tonight only she will be, be with me. As the other three would not would be content with this, understanding that she literally got seven of her tails cut off. As Kaguya would then use her hair to wrap around Hima and would then and grab her and then would basically yank her into the and would basically yank her into the bedroom and that and that's where I'm ending this part off hope y'all enjoyed part five of what if Naruto was turned to a female Kitsune I know y'all have been begging for this and I just haven't been making it I'm very sorry but I hope y'all can learn to forgive and forget and yeah goodbye